Hi, Jimmy Johnson here in the Patriot League studio, and I'm joined now by Colgate head coach Matt Langle. He's getting ready for his second NCAA game in two years after winning another Patriot League championship. Matt, congratulations on the championship win. Thanks, sir. And thank you for taking the time out here. I guess a little bit of breakdown of what it's like heading into this game. Obviously, a lot different than your last NCAA game because of everything going on off the court. But maybe for you, what's the difference preparing for this game after having that experience from two years ago? Well, I think you're not preparing your players for the unknown. Obviously, you know, Jordan Burns, Jack Ferguson, Tucker Richardson, uh, so many of these guys had an experience um, that they have, you know, in, in their pocket, so to speak. Although this will be so much different, you know, the venue will be there, you know, there will be hardly, you know, any fans in the venue and, and what have you. So um, they understand, you know, all the fanfare leading up and the media responsibilities and, and the magnitude of the whole thing, which I think here in Indy with so many teams all in one place and so many courts and so many details uh, in order to pull this event off makes itself apparent. But I also think it'll be common for them to go into the game and understand what it's going to take to, to try and play our very best. How do you keep them kind of even keel? I, I was talking with Tucker, and he mentioned that first game two years ago, it was the first 10 minutes of that game where just kind of he was all struck, and then it was like, okay, now we're ready to play. How do you, how do you keep them uh, even keel going into this one? Yeah, I think I rely on them. Um, you know, this, this, this group has been really focused on, on the moment and, and that was whether it was, you know, January the 2nd, we learned on January the 3rd real quickly that regardless of what happened, you know, the day before or the week before, or, you know, the months before, uh, you know, you gotta be ready for, for this moment and that opportunity. So, uh, they've practiced really well over uh, the last couple of days and, uh, I think are really connected and, and understanding of, of, of what Arkansas is. And it's unlike any anybody that we've played so far this year and really in, in some time. So uh, I think there still will be an adjustment to the speed and the you know athleticism of the opponent, the size, the length, but hopefully that those other experiences that we've had, you know, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Syracuse, all in the last couple of years uh, will, will serve us well on Friday afternoon. Now you mentioned no fans. You've been at Colgate here for 10 years. Raider Nation is alive and well on social media. They're going to be out there. You've already heard from them heading into this game. Uh, what what is it like over the last couple, you know, last ten years? What have you learned about this alumni base and how how how, how much passion there is for Colgate? Uh, it's it's been really cool, and I, I've tried, you know. You, I kind of lost sense of it a little bit this season because, you know, people couldn't come to games, but just as we were getting ready to play a couple opponents in the, in the Patriot League tournament that, that we hadn't played all season because of the circumstances, I went back and watched some film from, from the year before and just the, the stands were full and you kind of forget that as you're going about your day to day with, in the Patriot League with no fans. Uh, certainly since we won, won the, the messaging, you know, our, our guys, our department, our coaching staff is inundated with, you know, congratulatory messages and, and people trying to make their way to Indy to, to secure a ticket to come to the game. It's a really small knit community, as you know, Jimmy, and a, a really um, you know small school compared to you know some of the schools. Um, you know they get national recognition, but it's a it's a super tight community uh, and a close knit alumni base. And I think that you know when you have the type of success that this team has had and the program has had. You certainly feel that, and it's it's extremely humbling and, and rewarding to get that support. And one more question, bit of a fun question here, going back again on your 10 years at Colgate. I, I, I kind of thought of this after the Patriot League Championship game. It was your 13th straight win. You won it by 13 points. And I noted that in the post-game press conference with uh, Jason Knapp and uh, Mo Cassari, you made a point to say you held Adama to 13 points on 13 shots. That 13, at one point during your career at Colgate, did 13 just become, oh, that's just a number two? This might be a real thing going on here. <laughs> well, the, the longer you're, you're in Hamilton, the more, the more lore the 13 uh, has. And I think that, you know, maybe at, at first you're just not looking for it or paying attention to it. But, um, you know, I, I think that college athletics is all about school spirit and memories and experiences. And, and certainly the 13 is a, is a big part of that history and tradition at Colgate. Well, you're the 14th seed. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys go out there and get a 14th straight win in the NCAA tournament here. So good luck heading into the game, and thank you again for taking time out to chat with me here. Thanks, Jimmy.